Hello guys, welcome. In the previous video, we learned about the uh, migrations and some uh, command line options and the uh, structure, folder structure of Laravel. In this video, I'll try to customize the dashboard uh, that we are uh, looking right now at. And you will learn how to customize the views as well. And uh, you will know more about the blade templating engine and about the folder structure so i have another view here this one uh, a dashboard somehow a type of dashboard which is having a collapsible uh, sidebar so i'll put this structure uh, here instead of this one instead of the laravel's default so coming to our code uh, here we can see that our dashboard is using uh, the Laravel's component. You can see we have this is not an HTML tag actually. This is a component tag which is for the app layout. And the app layout is in the uh, resources folder views and in the layouts folder here app.blade.php. And uh, if we want to customize, I would just want this one to be here and I'll create another component and you will learn how to add new component as well and how to add new layout. So each of the components here, I told you about the components before as well, that components are um, code snippets that we can use multiple times. We once designed them and use them multiple times. And this layout result is like the component and it is actually a component. We once created and use it in uh, all the pages of our website. Uh, it is having a PHP file as well in the app folder and here in the view section and the component. Here you go, there we have app layout. So this is the main class of this uh, app, app layout. And this file will render. This file, this file can uh, render this app.layout.php. So if I want to create another layout, my own layout, uh, I don't want to touch this Laravel layout. Uh, now I have to create a, another component, another layout, and uh, put my stuff there. So I will do the same. And let's see, uh, open the terminal. You can see the terminal option is here, and you have the shortcut for it as well. You can press it. And coming to the uh, terminal, I will write, uh, PHP artisan make component and the component name. Let's say I want master layout. My one, I'll name my one to as master layout. So when we create this component, we get um, the uh, class here on our app folder here you go and we get a view for this in the components folder not layouts folder in the components folder we get here master layout so i'll just grab this one and put it inside my layout folder because uh, that is where i need it and with that uh, let's say Mm, let's change the uh, uh, and come to our masters master class master layout class and change the address here components dot master layout so i'll just change it to come to master layout view master layout or view layouts dot master layout because i moved it from the components folder to layouts folder so that's why layouts dot master layout dot uh, that is completely fine and now uh, I'll just put everything uh, the new uh, I'll put the new structure in my new master layout folder first I will come to app.blade.php select all the things from here and paste it to our new created layout as here 
and then I'll remove uh, the things from the previous Laravel which is inside the body let's see we have the navigation section we have the header and the main so I'll remove all this and after removing this I'll come to this one here and just view the source page because this one is designed with the Tailwind CSS and Alpine.js they are a lot included in our uh, project that we are working on so I don't need to think of anything I can just grab it copy it from here and paste it there Control C then come in here I'll paste it here okay our master layout is almost ready we just need to change the data and for example instead of uh, this uh, menu I have to bring the uh, Laravel navigation here and instead of this section instead of this I have to bring the main and data of Laravel here so let me open the app.blade.php here if you come you can see the first section we have is uh, layout start navigation but this navigation is having the uh, menu and this one as well uh, I don't want these two things with this so I have to create my own navigation file so for that again I'll come to the layouts open the navigation dot blade and here I'll save as it let's say by the name of site bar dot blade dot php it, it is the most the easiest here. here you see you can see the navigation link I just uh, let it be here and the rest remove all of them removed all okay now let me save it and come to my master layout and include this file here instead of our menu that we have on our design this is the menu section I'll just put the sidebar instead of this one so removing the previous one and commenting the navigation mm, sorry uh, here just i have to include add include include uh, layouts dot sidebar let's say okay now let's uh, let's change the layouts and I just want this one to see instead of at the Laravel's default so I have to come to the dashboard and instead of saying X app layout I'll say X master layout uh, the name which is written here exactly master layout and master dash layout okay let's save it and check it on the browser what we get hope okay unable to locate class or view component for master layout layout so let's see what we can how can we solve this one mm, if I just come and rename this my master layout file master layout not fine it is a bit confusing master.blade.php and come to our f folder and come into master layout and just name it layout.master okay and come into our dashboard just changing the name master okay here you go everything is almost fine and we got this one working here we have the menu here the dashboard menu and with that and now it's time to bring the logo up here and the uh, the drop down for uh, profile or logout here so let's see what we have in our app what more we have in our app folder here this was the for the navigation now coming to the header and main section so I'll move these two in the content section of our new layout copy from here and paste it in our uh, so master.blade.php here 
here's the content section you can see mm, content section so i'll just mm, paste them here let me save it and now pay, uh, refresh it here here you go you can see that we just change it this one and now i'll bring the logout option here which we had in our uh, laravel file that is actually in the navigation bar section and we have the setting drop down this one is here under the navigation link option here i'll grab this one from here copy it and paste it in our master layout we are to paste here uh, just uh, uh in this in, the, in line with this button and here so i should find that button that the button is here we go and under this button i'll put it here here you go paste it and now refresh here here we go i only need to bring this one here so i'll go with the display flex and justify and i'll come here it is written flex justify start so i'll just justify uh, a space between so justify between here you go we got it here now it's time to bring the logo up here for the logo let me go to navigation again navigation file and we have the logo section here so i'll grab this from the navigation file Close the file and come here. Now oh, here it is our navigation bar sidebar, and up uh, upper than above the that navigation I have an empty div which is for the logo. So I'll paste it here. Save it and let's see what we get. Here we get the logo. But we have to work and bring it in the center and work also for the background color so i learned in justify center instead of end and a bg uh, sled 100 let's say the background color okay the css is not working as you can see because uh, the watcher is not running so i run npm run watch it is to compile down and keep an eye on the changes css and html changes so now it should work if i refresh it here you can see it is working and i will also change the color of this uh, top bar so i have to come to this section the body section this is the drop down this is the button and this is the uh, that we can say uh, that top bar i'll just use the color bg gray 800 bg gray 800 here you go now we are ready and good to go for the next steps i'll have i'll customize this one as well with the uh, Telvin CSS and if you don't know how to work with Telvin CSS or Alpine JS uh, I'll put the video links in the description and you can follow them as well I'll customize this section behind the scene Thank you very much for this video